Hey everyone! Now, some of you may know that I'm on vacation, and if you didn't know when you're watching this video, you now know that the comic storing is on vacation. That's why you've been getting videos every other day as opposed to every day. But there is a fun comic book YouTuber known as Jay from Fancy Teeth that I'm a fan of, and I thought it would be cool to introduce you guys to him, and at the same time, get him to do one of my videos for me. Come on now, right? I'm on vacation. I don't want to work. So I actually went through this list with him, and I approved everyone one of the things that he picked out for the list. So you're basically getting a comic story and video, something that I would have created, but you're getting his presentation for it. And like I said, I get a free video. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, I really do appreciate him helping me out, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I know, for some of you, this may not be your style. And if that's the case, well, I'm sorry. You'll have me back very soon. But if you do enjoy his style and you want to show your love and support for his channel, or just show your appreciation for him helping me out, then just go on over to his channel and subscribe. The link is down below, but now I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get to that video. Hey guys, Sabini was kind enough to allow me to make a video for the channel, and so quickly, before he comes to his senses and changes his mind, let's jump right into it. I'm Jay Parks, and today I'm going to tell you guys about five times that The Incredible Hulk was, pause for dramatic effect, the bad guy. Let's count down the top five most evil versions of the Incredible Hulk. Now Hulk dates back to 1962 and was written by the main man himself. No, not Lobo, I'm talking about the one and only Stan Lee. Jack Kirby penciled the first five issues and Steve Ditko penciled the last. However, the original series was canceled just six issues in. But a year and a half later, Hulk was featured in Tales to Astonish, and the rest, as they say, is history. That's all the backstory that we're going to get into, though. So if you want to know more, I don't know, check Wikipedia or something. But let's find out what happens when Hulk breaks bad. Coming in at number 5, we have Conqueror Hulk from the Exiles. The Exiles are a group of Marvel superheroes featuring characters from different dimensions and realities. This being the case, many alternate versions of Hulk have been featured in the Exiles series. However, we have to pick one, so why not a Conqueror version of the Hulk that wore a gladiator outfit? Sound familiar? This Hulk killed Annihilus and nearly all the superhumans and then took control of the Annihilation Wave and wreaked havoc on the Earth. Footnote, Exiles also featured an insane version of the Hulk that attacked Canada. In the ensuing battle with the Exiles and Alpha Flight, this crazy Hulk was presumed dead. We'll call this one an honorable mention, I just think that Hulk attacking Canada is funny. I mean, was he out of maple syrup or what? Canadian fans, please address all complaints to Orem from Orem's Comics. Next up at number four, we have Age of Apocalypse Hulk from, uh, well, the Age of Apocalypse. In this story, Banner was never exposed to gamma radiation, and so he never became the Hulk. However, he did become a member of the Human High Council and a weapons designer. This version of Banner yearned for power, and Apocalypse was all too willing to help. Banner was secretly bought by Rasputin, and Banner supplied Rasputin with mutants to experiment on. Eventually, he gained the ability to transform into a creature resembling the Grey Hulk called the Thing in this reality. Banner was used as a mole on the High Council, but Susan Storm and Ben Grimm noticed that the patterns of Bruce's injuries match injuries sustained by the Hulk. Banner later tries to redeem himself by stopping a Gamma missile of his own design from striking the High Council ship. He jumped out of the ship and the missile detonated. The Human High Council escaped and Hulk landed in the Colosseum, coming back out as Green Hulk. That was the last mention of the Hulk in any of the Age of Apocalypse material. And that brings us to number three. Now at this point, I should mention that I've placed these versions of the Hulk from least to most evil, but this insane redneck mob boss version of the Hulk is certainly my favorite, and not just because I'm from the Appalachian Mountains. Old Man Logan is set 50 years into the future, a future where all the various villains joined forces and killed nearly all the costumed heroes. 
The villains then controlled the entire United States from coast to coast. During the conflict, Banner became exposed to gamma radiation via nuclear weapons and, as a result, was driven insane. And this is where it gets weird. Banner married his cousin Jennifer Walters, or She-Hulk, and they had children with normal intellect, green skin, and Hulk-like powers at somewhat lower levels. And, uh, near normal intellect, anyway. They formed the Hulk Gang and ran the entire west coast of the country after Banner killed Abomination. Banner, his kids, and grandkids all lived in caves and trailers and charged everyone on the west coast rent. Unable to pay, Logan set off with Barton to earn some money. When Logan returned, he found that Banner had killed his family. In a blind rage, he killed the entire Hulk gang and attacked Banner, causing him to transform into the Hulk. Hulk then proceeded to eat Logan. Let me say that again. The Incredible Hulk ate Wolverine. As we all know, however, Wolverine has one hell of a healing factor, and once he healed inside the Hulk's stomach, he burst out, killing the Hulk once and for all. Logan then took the last remaining member of the Hulk gang, a baby, and set out to train the child to be the first member of his new group of heroes. And now we move on to the number two spot, Age of X, and what I like to call Genocidal Hulk. Now we're getting into the really, truly evil versions of the Hulk. This version of Banner was a scientist contracted by the United States government to create a device that could take away the powers of any mutant. Unfortunately, while testing this new device, a mutant volunteer began to panic and her powers caused the device to go off early while still in the gamma spectrum. All the mutants involved in the test were killed, and Banner was bombarded by, say it with me now everyone, gamma radiation. Did you say it with me? No? Fine then, be that way. In this version, however, Banner is not only loaded up with gamma radiation, the mutant's genes also imprinted on him, and the result was a hook that harbored a deep-seated, murderous hatred for all mutants. Hulk eventually volunteered for a suicide mission to destroy the mutant stronghold with a chemical weapon, which is why I call this version of the Hulk Genocidal Hulk. The Hulk's former teammates sacrificed their very lives to set off the bomb early, and Hulk was incinerated. So, what could be worse than a Genocidal Hulk? And that brings us to the number one spot, Infernal Hulk. In this alternate reality, Banner was separated from the Hulk using magic. Bruce Banner became the Sorcerer Supreme. Meanwhile, Hulk was cast into hell. Literally, he actually went to hell. The Hulk became corrupted by demonic beings he came across while in hell, and this transformed him into a demon. This new demon Hulk was completely and utterly evil and escaped from hell itself on a mission to kill Bruce Banner. Banner, along with some other heroes, including, oddly enough, the Hulk, eventually tricked this infernal Hulk into shattering the Eye of Agamotto, and as a result, he was thrown back into hell. If you want to know more, then I highly encourage you to pick up these great stories and read them for yourself. I promise you won't regret it. So there you have it. That's my list of the top five most evil versions of the Hulk. Which one was your favorite? Which ones did I leave out? Let me know in the comments section down below and I'll be there to talk it over with you guys. Make sure you leave a like on this video so Benny doesn't hawk out on me and check out my comic book channel in the description below. Until next time, this has been Jay Parks filling in for Benny the Comic Storian and I will see you guys later.